channel Yee! today. The ship <laughs> has just reached its first destination. Look at this. <laughs> this thing is so big. It's it so is crazy. massive. Look, Look at the size of that thing. Oh my gosh. We have just arrived in the Bahamas. Heck yeah, baby. Perfect day at Coco Cay. So this is a private island that Royal Caribbean owns, and it's just for cruise ships. Which is awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, look how fun that looks. The water, you guys, is sparkling. <laughs> oh my gosh, we've already seen so many fish just walking along I the know, docks. I we know. cannot wait just to get in there and explore. It looks oh, so freaking oh, rad. Awesome. Look at this. I mean, look over here as well. This is gonna be so much fun. There's <laughs> so many different things you can do. Excursions, there's water parks. If you wanna keep it chill, come to Chill Island. That's where we're going. Heck yeah, baby. We, we even our brought our snorkel yeah, gear. We are gonna jump stuff. in there for sure. We saw fish all around here, especially over there. So I think we're definitely gonna get in there and hopefully have some awesome snorkeling. I just saw zip liners go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So as I mentioned, you can pay to do different things. So like the water park, zip line, different things like that. They are pricey. So we decided, you know what? For today, instead of doing an excursion, we are going to bring our snorkel stuff, chill at the beach, walk around, and explore the island. A few little tips for you guys. If you are coming to Coco Cay, they do allow pool cow rentals here. Mm -hmm. We're a little worried because all over on the app and everything it says bring a towel from the ship, but they do have towel stands around. You do have to check them back in or else you are charged to make sure you return them. So we grabbed our towels, but on our way over to the store clean, we did pass the chill grill. <laughs> guys, they have so much stuff. Burgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, chicken. Oh, what else? Just I've just gone to fruit, town. Fruit, anything you can think of, and it's all free, which is really nice. Because there are a few clubs they try and sell you on for, I think it's around like $200 a person for the day. And it does include food, it Crazy says cooking. private beach, but like there's so many beautiful beaches. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is packed with food, delicious food. Yeah. We just had our first soft serves of many of the trip. We're gonna finish up some lunch and then we are gonna hit beautiful blue water. Tip when you guys arrive at your porch, make sure you talk to a local about where the best spots for snorkeling is. Just found out it's actually here at Chill Island where there's a sunken ship. <gasps> so cool. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be pretty dope. The water here is pristine. It looks very similar to Alligator Reef. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's beautiful. It's gonna be awesome. And also you guys, they have beach chairs everywhere. You can hang out, yeah. relax in. Like this is awesome. <laughs> Question for you, if the early bird gets the worm, what does the person who arrives later get? Front row Joe, baby. <laughs> there's actually a ton of chairs here. Like, I know, there's, no there's need so many. To, like rush here whatsoever. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. I know, this is like our own little private beach. It's like taping it in. It's so beautiful. Over there I see the cruise ship, the little inlet where you can snorkel, the beautiful water. Oh, this is paradise. One big huge tip, bring your own snorkel gear. Everyone here is kind of looking for something to do because the snorkel gear is expensive. Yeah, you can rent it, <laughs> but we invested in this. We bring it on all of our tropical trips. Well, I mean, we live in Florida, so we use yeah. it too. Oh, oh, this water feels nice. It's a little chilly, surprisingly. Ooh, it's refreshing. It is refreshing. Hot day. Yeah, it's very hot, especially with that white, gorgeous sand. Wow. All right. Time to go find this shipwreck. This is dope with that cruise ship in the background like that. Look at that.
right, all right, we just finished up with snorkeling and we had an absolute blast. I will say this, quick little tip. You might wanna go where people are not because there's so many people, they're kicking up the sand and within the water, which makes it a little bit murky. Now, I will say this, the snorkeling wasn't as good as like alligator reef or anything like that just because there's no reef for the most part. It's mostly just a bunch of sand and they did have that one sunken piece of the ship, which was really cool to see. But if you're expecting like really epic snorkeling here at Coco Cay, you're not gonna really get it, at least here at Chill Beach. I will say this, I brought in a little tiny bit of food from the buffet and I let it go underneath the water and the fish went crazy. That was really cool. I do wanna show you guys this though. I mean, look at the boat over there. That thing is huge. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So this is where we've gone snorkeling, guys. We went all throughout here. We went way out there and then all throughout this bay right here. Luckily, it's fairly shallow and so you're able to like swim out there and then if you get a little bit tired, you can actually just kind of stand up and wait. But I do love, they have like these little platforms set up. You can kind of see them behind me and you can sunbathe on top of them. You can rest, you can jump off. We saw a lot of people doing that, which was really cool. Right back here behind me, they have shops galore, all these like local shops, like souvenir shops. But guys, this island is insane. We literally took the drone up and it is so beautiful. It's so cool. The water is like turquoise blue. We absolutely love it here. Oh, we got the cutest girl if there ever was. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, oh. Heaven. I know, this is seriously pure I heaven. I almost fell asleep for a little bit after snorkeling, <laughs> but literally just looking at, the, I love seeing all the clouds right in front of her. I don't know if you, when Jared is out there talking, you notice the clouds behind him, but they are so beautiful. Oh, from here. the drone footage, you guys will definitely notice it. A lot of people are starting to head back to the boat. Now we have a couple more hours you can stay out here. Mm -hmm. I think we might go try and walk around a little bit more of the island, maybe stop by the food again. Yes. They have to offer, it's <laughs> incredible. I would say if you have kids especially, like this is like a little paradise. Oh, the seriously. The waves are so calm, it's shallow, like perfect. There's so many little kids that are just building sand castles. And Making friends with each other too. Yeah. So some hacks we're thinking of for next time we come back, <laughs> definitely coming back here, is we'll probably bring our inflatable pool yes. tubes that roll up. Probably gonna bring those on our next one because the Caribbean is usually so calm, you can just float out there, uh -huh. where you don't have to rent them, and they pack up really easy. They just inflate and deflate. Yeah, you guys will probably see they offer like these blue mats behind me, but that, in addition to the snorkel gear, it can get really, really expensive. Also, if you guys watched our packing video, you saw that I mentioned I bring detangler, and then I also brought a little water bottle. And so my hair gets so snarly after snorkeling with all the seawater and everything. So I brought that and then a little wet brush and I just brushed it up. It's all nice and smooth now yeah. and ready to go. So anyways, there's my little hack too. And who pointed that out? Jared. Yeah, I did, yes. After watching the video. Okay, so we're on our way to go return the towels and this is what we wanted to show you guys about the local little shops here. Here, are all these like little like huts as you guys can see, packed to the gills of just nothing but souvenirs. So cute. <laughs> In case you're wondering, why is Brittany holding everything? Well, it's because I'm vlogging, baby. <laughs> One of the advantages of being the cameraman is that you gotta have the hands free so you can talk and point. I didn't know Sherpas were all the way out here in the Bahamas. Pretty impressive. Here are some of the products that they're selling. They all say Coco K Bahamas. That one's just shirts. This one over here looks like hats and bags. This one has Coco K Bahamas with backpacks, tank tops, toys. Even got some glasses in here. Some really cool dresses and blouses. Souvenir jewelry. They definitely offer a ton of really cool stuff. I think we're gonna have to go check out. Okay, so earlier from our vlog, we stood out on this bridge right here and showed you guys this amazing like Lagoon Bay area with the zip line that goes across it. I flew the drone over it as well and it's so pretty. It's so cool, man, guys. I'm just giddy right now. It's so cool. This thing is awesome. It's super helpful. It's basically the directions of where everything is out here in the park. As you guys can see, they have so many things to offer. Speaking of which, a super hot mamacita. Return the towels. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sherpa. I That's very nice of you. Go back over to the food, get some. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before we head back to the ship. Also, you guys, there's pools and tons of other things around here we have not even seen yet. So yeah. we're going to go walk around, kind of explore a little bit. So, guys, they got juices, they got ice cream. They have a bar right here. They have all sorts of assorted fruits, as you guys can see. They have the salads here, the burgers, hot dogs. Now, it does look like they've actually closed at 3 p.m. and it's like 3.15, so it looks like we're not eating anything right now. <laughs> I know, lots of fresh fruit. And there's always room for ice cream. Favorite spot. 
spot. Look, <laughs> look how awesome this is. She's got a hammock right here. Oh my gosh. I see Jared here and I looked between the trees. I see this massive water slide. We were just talking about Jared would love that. Yes. We didn't pay for that excursion Isn't to go exciting. into that part. This is seriously so much fun. It's awesome. It. So we are probably one of the last ones on the island right now. Yeah. It is definitely, definitely clearing out. Oh my gosh, there's tons of hammocks over there. Oh. Gosh. There's a whole place where there's just hammocks everywhere. You can go lay in. I know. I definitely want to come back here. This is awesome. You did not disappoint me. Hello. Hey. We're pushing off. We're pushing off. Check it out, guys. Oh, it goes so slow. But it does go really crazy. slow. It's kind of like a silent little killer there. We gotta wave goodbye to the Bahamas. I know. Guys. Bye Bahamas. Actually, that's the end of the Bahamas. That's the wrong way. Yep. Or you feel this way. Yeah. Bye Bahamas. <laughs> so last time we saw you guys, you were just leaving Coco Cay, which mm -hmm. was so much fun. Oh, it was a blast. Fun is an understatement. It was awesome. It was. It really, was seriously really cool. so much fun. Like we said this earlier, but it's just so awesome. It's such an easy place to be because oh, you yeah. just go there and you know there's gonna you're gonna be taken care of. You don't have to plan it a whole ton if you don't want to. There's definitely places you can reserve and go into. Yeah. What you did see there is a huge pool. I think that's open to everyone. And then they have the little private beach clubs and things like that you can pay for. But we had an awesome time and it was all free for us. Yeah, so. it was wonderful. We are though getting quite a few questions both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Just asking about a ton of details like how do you reserve dining? Kind of all cruise related questions. Mm -hmm. So I think it might be really helpful. Why don't you drop your comments here if you have any other yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go through them and then during this week or after the cruise we will yeah, try and do cool. like a q and a q do them all together and it's try to answer all your questions. It just doesn't get old, sorry. It's I was so listening fun. to Brent, but this view just doesn't get old. I just love that. You know, I love doesn't it. get old? This view right oh, here. Doesn't he look so sappy, handsome? Awesome. Ooh, I love Jared and Blue. It's like my favorite color on him. It's my favorite, favorite. Oh, you're going to be kissed? Thank yes. you. It is our anniversary trip, you yeah. guys. Yeah, guys. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over this. It is so blue, so beautiful. Look at the clouds right here. And you can actually see a cruise ship way off in the distance over there. Yeah, so that is something Jared actually taught me that cruise ships kind of travel in packs. So they're just far enough away that you, you're not like in each other's space. Yeah. But they're close enough by if something goes wrong. Yeah. Another ship nearby, yeah, it's super which nice. Brings so much comfort, especially <laughs> to anybody that might have like a fear of being out in the middle of the ocean. Exactly. Now, you guys, we just got all showered and dressed, and we're going to go to dinner. Hot diggity dog. So our dinner reservation every night is at 8 p.m. We got one of the later ones. Yeah. We will go through kind of how dining works and everything in that Q&A. But yeah, dinner reservation tonight at 8. We cannot wait to be starving. <laughs> yes. I mean, how do we starve? We have been eating all day. <laughs> but for now, you guys, we're just going to sit back, relax, and take in the view. We're coming under. we can do. Sat down to dinner. We just got our first appetizers. We got 
seafood pastries, and they look divine. I will admit, I thought this was seafood pasta. I read it wrong. <laughs> looks like we just got some French onion soup. This looks divine. Look at that cheese melted right over the top. Ooh, the lolly. Brittany is just enjoying that little pasta pastry I thought it was, but it's not. <laughs> Time to take the spoon and dive right on in. Oh, this is my favorite part about cruise ships, be able to try so many different things. And for my entree, I got a steak. Take a look at this bad boy, that looks good. Curious, how do you guys like your steak? Do you like it medium, well done, or medium rare? And bread, oh, what do we get in here? Huh? I got the grilled chicken. Nice. Went a little more simple tonight. I like it, I like it. <laughs> right for dessert, you guys, I got bananas foster. Jared got the apple tart. I got this last night and it was so good. Look at the sugar crystal crust with ice cream. I might need to order another one. Sorry, babe, this is the last I, one. I just told Jared <laughs> I woke up this morning thinking about that apple pie right there. <laughs> Really I really did. Really okay, <laughs> hey guys, we just finished up with dinner. It was seriously so good. I could eat like 20 of those like apple pie thingies. They are delicious. We'll explain how all the dining works in our Q and A coming up. <laughs> we just walked out and we're on the main promenade right now. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Just take a look at all this. I mean, it's just beautiful. Every which way you look. So tomorrow's our first sea day. So you're gonna be on the ship all day. So we're planning to take you guys yeah. all around. Show you all the ins and outs about the ship. So stay tuned for I that. I know, it's gonna be a ton of fun. This place is just wows me every single time I walk down it. It's just huge. Look how much room there is. I can't believe we're on a boat right now. Yeah, it's great. You don't feel like you're in a boat, you feel like you're in a huge hotel. <laughs> we were down walking back to the room and Britt just pointed out, look how far back that hallway goes. You can't even see the end of it. You can't even see the end. And the same is true right in front of us. Look this way. <laughs> look at that. It just goes. It, it just goes, goes and goes. I mean, this one's a little bit more within reach. I mean, you I can kind of see the end there. I kind of want to time it how long it would take to run <laughs> the whole thing. You want to do it? You can do it. Not you want to see Britt do it. I yeah, want to see. Let, let me know if you want to see <laughs> get from that end to one trip to the other end. Yeah, that one I legitimately cannot see the end. Yeah. I have no idea. We just got back to our room to a fun little surprise. So look how darling. This is one of the fun parts about when you come back to your stateroom. Look at this towel with the little sunglasses. She actually used a pair of my sunglasses to create it. Isn't that so That's cute? Awesome. That's super cute. That's cool. We have the nicest lady um, assisting us with our room. Her name is Penny. Yeah. She is darling. We just talked to our waiter at dinner. So you have the same waiter at dinner every night, which is so fun so you can really get to know them. And our waiter's name is Edwin and he is awesome. He was he's telling so us cool. he's worked for Royal Caribbean for 10 years. Yeah. He's been doing this, which is so cool. He's from Honduras and yes. one of our stops, as you guys know, is Honduras. Is Honduras. So we've yeah. been talking to him a little bit. Anyways, they are just the sweetest people ever. They work so, so hard. hard. They work for 10 hours a day, every single day. And a lot of them are on contracts from like seven to eight months. So they're yeah. here working seven to eight months and then they get, I think a couple months vacation yeah. and then they come back and do it again. Good for them. So man, anyways, they're incredible. Sweetest people around. I have been so impressed with Royal Caribbean, yeah. just their treatment, their staff, like it's top notch. All right, you guys. Well, I think we are going to call it a night tonight. The sun took us out of us. Know, we were exhausted. exhausted. We were falling asleep. We were just talking, it's only day two. This was yeah. technically like our first real day. Yeah, and it was awesome. And it was so much fun. incredible. Thank you so much for all the love, the sweet comments. We're so glad you guys are enjoying this cruise. We love sharing it with all of you. So until tomorrow, we will see you later. See you guys, love ya, bye. Ready, ready, down, march, got a serious intro.